Hello YouTube, Dr. Kemp here, Hammond Doc, once again. Today, I'm going to talk about the Hammond Organ Start Switch. Now, I have one here in my hand. Let me pan up so that you can see this closely. And this is actually the start as well as the run. Yeah, I have two switches here. In this video, I'm just going to talk about the start switch, and then I'll do another video to talk about the run switch. Now, this is a vintage uh, set of switches. So this is a vintage start switch. This the start switch is necessary to start up the generator or the tone generator in the Hammond organ. The Hammond A100s, the Hammond B3s, the Hammond C3s, the Hammond uh, M series of organs. And um, the start switch is a 6 amp. 125 volt AC to 250 volt AC spring loaded single pole single throw bat handle switch okay. so this is the bat handle If we turn it over, of course, this is the unit. This is the switch. And um, this switch is connected to the start motor, which is located on the, if you open the back of, open the, back of the organ, Look toward the the right side on the base at the base of the organ uh, toward the rear of the the side rear of the tone generator. There is a uh, start motor there. This start motor has a little shaft in it that is also spring loaded. The tone generator has a shaft that comes out to meet the shaft of the start motor. Uh, shaft that is spring loaded. So when the start switch is used, then the start motor allows for the shaft. There is a there's a there's a shorting of of, uh, of a um, resistor that causes this shaft to move out and also the shaft of the uh, tone generator moves forward and they connect each other so uh, you hold this start switch for eight seconds which allows the tone generator uh, to be engaged and the run motor uh, will then be Engaged, and we'll talk about we'll talk about that even while the start motor is being pushed. So the start motor is pushed first, and is held for eight seconds. But that allows for the tone generator to be engaged and to start moving. Okay, and then in the next video, I'll talk about the use of the run motor. But then. Uh, this is held for eight seconds, okay, and um, that'll cause the tone generator to begin moving. And if you were to just release the switch, like the, without engaging the run motor, what would happen is what would happen is that the tone generator would continue to run for just a brief period, but then and then it'll begin to wind down wind down. Um, when do you need to 
consider replacing these? Well, if and in most cases with the Hammond organ, the the, the start motor is, is is extremely durable, and in fact tends to be much more durable than the switches. Because the switches, I mean, the switches these are you're using them mechanical. You're using them to cut on the organ every every time you turn on the organ. You have to use these switches. So things happen with these these. I've seen um, the the bat break off, and then you have to replace the the whole you know the entire um, unit here. Okay. The, and one of the things that uh, can cause that is it's just over time rust can build up in this depending on the environment where that you're in that you're playing your organ in so it, it can be helpful to use some uh, contact cleaner lubricant from time to time and spray on there uh, just a little bit and you don't have to do that very often I mean if you're using your organ outside obviously you would because that's exposure to the environment you would do it more often but um, you'd want to check this and if it's in your church or in your home you want to check this switch from time to time and make sure that there's no dirt and uh, deposits and lint and dust have accumulated there and you want to if it has you want to clean that out that'll help to preserve this uh, this switch um, obviously uh, if the wires if the organ is it's uh, has not been cared for or just over time the wires can wear out these wires can uh, just and be neat I mean the it has to be replaced because the wires are bad. Okay, so you can then re replace the, and it's very easy to replace the start switch. Uh, it's it's not a it's not a big headache at all. Uh, if you go to crank the organ up and your organ has been starting, and you go to crank it up, and it and it does nothing, it's dead. It, you do this, and it's dead. Then you may need to replace the start switch more than likely is going to be the start switch rather than the start motor so uh, and and the start switches are easy to come by they can be purchased uh, through Hammond Suzuki um, they the Hammond Suzuki makes these still sells these and so they're very easy to get uh, the order uh, so and then once, I mean, there's just a just a screw there. These are easy to remove and replace. And of course, you have to solder the wires here. So you got a wire here that has to be soldered. And then on there's another a second pole here that connects a wire to the run. To the run switch. All right, and this is it's as simple as that. Um, let's see, is there anything else I need to say? All right, I've talked about what it is, what it does, how to uh, maintain it, if you need to replace it, what to do. Uh, so now. The there are different people that sell switches that do the same thing as this. To get a switch that looks just like this, um, this is this is vintage. So it's it's you may not be able to find one uh, from a someone that sells switches that look just like this because to get one that looks just like this you can pull it out of a organ that you're not using like an M, M3 organ or something like that um, but the bottom line is that you have this 
and a switch or bat that allows you to, to do to toggle so that you can start up your organ. Um, and I and I say this because I've over the years played many organs that have had some silver bats. I'm sure you've seen that. The bat is silver, it's not black like this. Um, or it's not shaped like this. The the toggle the toggle part portion is not shaped in this exact way. Uh, but the switch here, it does the same thing. And the whatever is used up here is uh, in operation and it allows for the starting of the organ. And that's that's the key. All right. All right. So uh, my phone is ringing here. I think that's enough for this video. I'll come back and I'll talk about the run switch next. So until the next video, this is Dr. Kemp Hammondock saying to you, peace out.